In my drawing window I'm looking at the floor plan and some elevations for a house and when I am looking at the view where I can see all of the drawing it's very difficult to see any detail. So I'm going to use my zoom command to magnify my drawing. So on the navigation bar I'm going to go to the flyout and I have several different zoom commands I can use. Zoom window or zoom real time. If I use zoom window I'm now going to draw a window. Clicking first to make one corner and clicking again to form the second corner of my rectangle and it zooms into that window. Once I'm zoomed in, if I want to use my pan command you'll notice that my cursor turns into a small hand. Holding down the left mouse button I can drag the view around inside of my drawing window. So you can think of having a magnifying glass and then dragging your drawing underneath your magnifying glass so that you can see different areas. To end the pan command I would hit enter or spacebar on the keyboard. If I would like to zoom out to see the whole drawing again I could use my option for zoom extents. When I use the zoom extents commands it zooms out so that it shows all of the objects that are drawn in this particular drawing. Everything that's visible will be shown in the drawing window. A command similar to that is zoom all. Zoom all will zoom my drawing to its limits. The limits are a set area in the drawing that I can set up as part of my drawing options to create the size of the drawing area inside model space. When I have a large drawing like this, if I want to explore multiple areas and look at the details, a zoom dynamic option works very well. I'm going to go to the navigation bar to the flyout and I'll go down to use zoom dynamic. Now you notice that a window or a box has been opened. To control this box I click the left mouse button and moving to the left I can make it larger or smaller. So to determine the size of this dynamic zoom box I'm going to use the left mouse button. So I click again and now that box has the size that I want. To use this box to zoom in a particular area I just center it over the part I want to look at and hit the right mouse button and I zoom into that area. Going back to my navigation bar, if I look at the flyout, because zoom dynamic was the last command that I used, it has a check mark next to it. That check mark means that this button is now the zoom dynamic option. So if I just go over and click on it, I'm back in the zoom dynamic command. Notice the first thing it does is it zooms me out. It maintains the same size of my zoom box. If I want to resize that, I hit the left mouse button. I can resize it, hit the left mouse button again to fix its size, and then hit the right mouse button to zoom in again. As I change the view of my drawing, AutoCAD remembers each of the views. So if I want to go back to a previous view, I can use my Zoom Previous option. That takes me back to the view I was looking at previously. And if you go up to the ribbon and go to the View tab, under the Navigate 2D, you have a Back and a Forward button. So if I go back, I will continue to look at previous views. And if I use the Forward, I'm moving forward through the views. Because my zoom commands are used so often, the keyboard is usually the fastest way to access the commands. If I hit Z on the keyboard, you notice that uh, in my pop-up window it finds zoom. So I hit enter to begin the command. Now looking down on the command line, you can see the options that I have for using with zoom. I have all, center, dynamic, extents. All of those same options are available. So I look at the capitalized letter 
on the options. So zoom all, it's the A. So if I enter A and hit enter again, I've now executed a zoom all command. Another example would be zoom previous. So I hit Z on the keyboard and enter, and then P for previous, and it takes me back to my previous view. If I want to zoom extents, I could say Z enter, E enter, and it takes me to the extents of my drawing. Because zoom all or zoom extents uh, is a command that I use all the time, I find that the keyboard is the fastest way to execute that command.